What up, players? Wobot's tail up in this mud. Welcome to part two of my unboxing of the Chaos Raptors box. So let me show these four Raptors that I made and one Warp Talon. This first one I did with Chain Sword and Bolt Pistol. Let's get a little close up if we could, please. Thank you. I love the the uh, helmets on some of these. Already do look like they're starting to mutate. Look really cool. It looks like he's uh, jumping. The great thing about these is you can angle the torsos to make it look like either they're jumping off, like this guy is, or like they are landing, like this guy. He's my favorite. He's my Lycorophus model, and um, I built him as a warp talon. But I also thought, you know, what would be cool if I just maybe I could use him with my Raptors and just say that he's the aspiring champion with lightning claws. Yeah, there you go. Next we've got a melter gun. Because I hear these are great for popping tanks. And he's got the little Mark V helmet with the vents right by the snout. These models were really easy to put together. Nothing really difficult about it. Not much mold lines. So that's great for the novice beginner painter. And they just they look really great. Plasma guy here. Oh look at these cool ornate kneecaps. Armor pieces. And the last guy is this one who looks like he's jumping away. So that's what I mean about doing the, um, some fancy work with the torso, with the head positioning, and just the positions of the, the weapons. You can really do some really good stuff. So let's take a look at the rest of the sprues, see what we've got for our bits box. Chain swords uh, for your assault troopers, power weapons. You've got these little wing knobbies, jobbies there that you can use to decorate your vehicles, drop pods, stuff like that. Some hand pieces for the lightning claws. Got two more wing pieces. Toes for the feet that we didn't use for the warp talons. Power fist. Three plasma pistols. Plasma. Lightning claws galore. Lightning claw, lightning claw. Bolt pistols. Just the hands though. Lightning claw. One head. Flamer, two heads, three heads, four heads, five heads. And these are all the Warp Talon heads that you can use for your Chosen or your your champions for other units. So lots of great options. Just all these extra lightning claws that you can use. Use them for your Chaos or shave off all the little pointy bits and use them for your Imperials. And you'll have a good time of it. So that is going to wrap this video up. I can't wait to get painting. I think I'm going to do this guy for the for the uh, painting tutorial for the Night Lord's color scheme just because it looks so cool. The only thing for new painters and new hobbyists is that they are, like if you build them, you just got to kind of watch how you you position everything so that it all kind of balances out because it's really easy to make, to make them, you know, just very uh, unbalanced if you add too much weight on one side so just kind of make sure that where you put the feet where you glue the thing onto the center of the base it's pretty nicely centered and then everything else kind of balances if you're having a hard time with that another workaround I found works really well is if you have those old metal models you could clip off the tabs on their feet and glue it there or just find some other metal piece that you could glue to the front of or to the opposite side of wherever the weight is distributed the most. So as most of the weight is here on the back, you put this down, he has a tendency to fall backwards or to the sides. If you put some weight on the front, just super glue or put in some green stuff and a little bit of metal into the front, like a little weight to hold it down, then you'll have a lot easier time moving them around on the battlefield. Love the kit though, love all the details, and I uh, had a really great time building them up. Can't wait to paint them. Thanks for watching, players. Laters!